Feathers in birds, of course, we're all familiar with, and hair in mammals, very important key evolutionary innovations. Critical for things like insulation, so keeping us warm in if we're mammals, uh, display, and also, um, of course, in birds, flight as well. But actually, mm -hmm. these two, hair and hair and feathers, are just kind of two examples of integumentary structures, which mm -hmm. are, you know, structures that come out of the skin. So integument is your skin. So an integumentary structure is some structure that comes out of your skin. And lots of different integumentary structures are being displayed by amniotes. Um, so some others, for example, are scales, yes. uh, claws, horns, things like that. Um, and although they're all quite different and possessed by different groups, um, it's thought that the kind of the genes that allow amniotes to make these sorts of things. So the genetic toolkit underlying integumentary structures was actually in place by the Carboniferous period, so about 350 million years ago. So mm -hmm. it's got kind of super deep evolutionary origins. Um, so although we think that that toolkit must have been in place and those genes must have been there already uh, by that time there's hardly any uh, evidence in the fossil record of uh, integumentary structures in amniotes outside of the lineage to birds so let's move on to this new paper then which in which the authors present some new fossils and they name uh, these this new fossil uh, as mirasora grauvogli 